<laughs> Why, hello there, everybody. How you doing today? It's me, again. Wow. <laughs> you know, back uh, when I was coaching basketball, I was an assistant basketball coach over at Englewood High School. Our head basketball coach had a saying, and uh, it was this, pressure will break a steel pipe. And what we are seeing now is we are seeing, I, I'm not sure if it's the self-destruction, I'm not sure if it's, uh, I'm just, I'm seeing Ted Cruz come unhinged and it's happening in front of the whole in front of the whole world um, and remember this is the man who says that you know hey he's devout Christian and yet he's the also the one who let Glenn Beck speak over him that he is the savior that was prophesied fulfilling a Mormon prophecy. And if you want to know what a Mormon is, I've got a video on that too. Just go look at my videos. But what you're seeing is uh, the same Ted Cruz is, is the one that gets on the news saying, you all have given him Donald Trump billions of free ad time. Yet, Ted Cruz can't seem to say a sentence without mentioning Donald Trump. So who's talking about Trump? You spend more time talking about Donald Trump than you do about your own campaign. Now we've got this latest mudslinging event where uh, um, a pack uses the photo of Melania and, and uh, everybody says, well, Donald Trump went after Ted Cruz. Well, because the Donald, Donald Trump denounced and sent letters of cease and desist to any and all super PACs that were supporting him, telling them, nope, don't want you, don't need you, stay away, don't do anything. It, you stop using my name because I'm going to denounce you. And he sent a similar letter to all 17 of the candidates saying, look, I don't care if it's from your camp or from a super PAC. Whatever uh, super PAC, if it's a super PAC that is supporting you and they attack me, we're going to hold you accountable because we have denounced them. Okay? So, that's why Donald Trump went and spoke directly to Ted Cruz. So, he wasn't being a bully. Then Ted Cruz takes him a couple of days to denounce the Super PAC ad. But hey, the supposedly, he was hoping that the damage was already done. But there was no damage. The only damage that was done was to Ted Cruz. Because Ted Cruz has showed his true colors yet once again. Folks, this man's not a Christian. He is not a Christian. No way, shape, or form. So now, here we are as um, the next election is Wisconsin. And suddenly, suddenly the polls, one poll, one poll I should say, one poll shows that Ted Cruz is beating Donald Trump. So what they're trying to, they're trying to give a reason for stealing the election from Donald Trump, which would be nullifying and going against the will of the people. But this time, Donald Trump doesn't take the bait yet again. You know, the National Enquirer story? Mm -hmm. He says, look, hey, uh, Ted Cruz libeled himself, said that Donald Trump was behind the, the National Enquirer story. That's called libel, folks. Donald Trump doesn't have anything to do with the National Enquirer. So Donald Trump comes out and says, look, I didn't even read the story. I don't have nothing to do with the people. I hope it's not true. But there's lying Ted out again saying that I did something that I didn't do. 
And again, why is Ted Cruz blaming Donald Trump for something that the National Enquirer? Oh, that's it. Throw doubt. Throw doubt. That's what us Christians do, right? We throw doubt. We point out everybody's faults. Mm -hmm. Why not just discredit the story? Maybe because it's true. I don't know if it's true. I don't know. All I do know is that Ted Cruz is not a Christian. Okay? And <sighs> scripture verse time, folks. Scripture verse time. I got notes. 1 Corinthians 10.33 Even, this is Paul speaking, Even as I please all men in all things, not seeking my own profit, but the profit of many, so they may be saved. Continuing on in chapter 11, verse 1. Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. What Paul is saying is this. Yep, my whole goal, my whole job, my whole purpose is to point people to Christ. Do not be a follower of me, but follow my example of being a follower of Christ. Now, Mr. Ted Cruz is all doing all of this for his own political gain. He's and it's 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 they are so frustrated they just cannot seem to stop Mr. Donald Trump. This is why. This is why you do not run as a Christian. You do not run on a Christian format. Folks, this is a Christian country. We're all supposed to be Christians. Hello? But when you have a professing Christian doing, pointing out everybody's faults, gee, I wonder what, why the lost don't come to us and tell them, ask us for help. Why don't the drug addicts come to us and say, hey, will you please pray for me because I, I, I'm struggling with this. Why do people in the church not go to their um, to their elders and to their pastors and say, look, man, I'm having struggles with drinking. I'm having struggles with lust. I'm having struggles with this, that, and the other. Here's why. This is why. Because they, they look, remember, if you say that you're a Christian, you're representing Christ. And the world, whatever you do is how they, is how they see Jesus. So when they see this self-professing, Bible thumping Christian, which he's not, say that he uh, uh, tear apart an opponent strictly for his own gain. Remember what Paul said. Paul said, not seeking my own profit, but the profit of many. So he's doing all this simply to tear down the Mr. Donald Trump so that he can be the guy. And it's just, it's sad. But this is why, folks, this is why. This is why we are afraid to say that we're Christians, because we are afraid of all this ridicule. Here's what you do. Here's what I do. I don't give a rip what anybody says about me. I could care less what anybody thinks about me. Because whatever they say, whatever they think, is not going to change who I am or what I do. My motivations come strictly from Almighty God, from the Word of God. I have two obligations to my God. Obligation number one, find out what my God would have me do. Obligation number two, do it. If I have any questions while I'm fulfilling obligation number two, I simply have to go back to obligation number one and ask my God, what would you have me do about it? And then two, apply whatever he, it is that he says he has for me to do. And I keep, I keep repeating that process until I'm giving a new set of marching orders. That's what we need to do, folks. Stop tearing each other down. Remember, Mr. what you are seeing is, is, is Bible. Scriptural fact playing out in real time on national TV. Remember Galatians? Remember Galatians? A man, whatever a man soweth, that shall he reap. God is not mocked. 
Stop worrying about what everybody else is doing. Stop trying to use God Almighty for your own gain. You are a servant of Almighty God. God is not your servant.